in December 2008, um, Tyler Cassidy was fatally shot by Victoria Police in Northgate Skate Park. Um, he was 15 years old at the time and um, it was thought that that was the youngest person on record to be shot by police. Um, and in the coronial inquest um, that followed, um, the Human Rights Law Centre, who we represented, um, made a number of submissions regarding the application of the Charter of Human Rights and Responsibilities in regards to the coronial inquest. Um, so we assisted them um, in their application for leave to appear, um, in their submissions to ensure that the Charter was included in the scope of the coronial inquest. Um, and then we um, assisted them making oral and written submissions um, at the end of the coronial inquest um, regarding the application of the Charter um, on the Tyler Cassidy case. The death raised some important issues at the, um, that the centre wanted to ensure were properly ventilated at the inquest, um, in particular the human rights issues um, right, arising out of the death. Um, so our, the, the matter really um, involved issues around the right to life and whether Victoria Police, both in connection with the shooting itself but also the subsequent investigation, had um, complied with its obligations under the Victorian Charter um, in relation to the right to life. Um, and we focused on both the substantive elements of the right to life, that is, um, the obligations on a state to protect life and not to arbitrarily or unnecessarily deprive anyone of life, but also importantly we focused on the procedural limb of the right to life and that requires that where there has been a death at the hands of a state agency such as Victoria Police, that there's an effective and importantly hierarchically an independent investigation into that death. And unfortunately in Victoria we have had for some time a system where Victoria Police effectively investigate themselves when there's a death um, resulting from contact with the Victoria Police. Um, and that's been the subject of criticism for some time. And that criticism particularly, I suppose, occurs because Victoria Police have a much higher rate of police, police shootings than do other states. Um, but with the implementation of the Victorian Charter, which imposes a legal obligation on state agencies to comply with the right to life, the centre was hoping that through this inquest we could actually bring about a change to the system um, and the way in which deaths resulting from police contact, contact are actually investigated. The inquest sat for a total of 36 days altogether um, and our involvement stretched over almost three years. Um, the coroner delivered her findings in November last year. Um, unfortunately, she didn't engage directly on the issue of whether the system for investigating police deaths in Victoria actually complied with the right to life. Um, she did make some recommendations, though, aimed at ensuring that Victoria Police had in place um, appropriate policies and training and procedures for dealing with young people and other vulnerable people, including um, in particular people who might be in some form of mental crisis, um, to try to ensure that circumstances like this didn't happen again. Um, and she also did recommend that um, when interviews of police members take place after an incident, that an independent, legally trained person actually sit in and observe that interview. So I suppose going a little bit of the way down the path to where the centre would like um, the, the, the outcome to be. Personally, I mean, you know, they're the type of cases that really matter to people. Um, they're about human rights, they're about people, they're about, um, uh, you know, the, the power, um, uh, the role of the state, um, you know, the, the shooting of a 15 year old boy. So they're, they're really important matters um, and um, important on a personal level. Um, so, you know, there's always that personal satisfaction that comes from hopefully doing a good job for a really um, interesting and, and um, kind of um, a, a interesting matter for a matter of public importance.